Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com. This video is another in my series of RHCE practice session videos where I am preparing for the Red Hat Certified Engineer exam. Before I dive in, I want to thank returning subscribers for watching another video as well as invite anyone who hasn't subscribed yet to click that subscribe button and ring the bell when you do so you can be aware of when new content is available. Also, if you enjoy this video or find it useful, make sure you click like and feel free to share it with others who might also find it useful. In this video, I'm going to look at the final objective in the RHCE objective list, and this is under the Use Advanced Ansible Features section, and that is Use Ansible Vault in playbooks to protect sensitive data. Before I continue, I do want to remind you that this is not intended to be authoritative information, nor is this intended to be a tutorial. Rather, it's an opportunity for me to go over whatever the objective is at hand, try to talk about it, try to do some examples of it, and see if I feel prepared to handle exam tasks that would be related to that objective. Ideally, at the end of the video, I'll feel pretty confident about whatever it was I was talking, and if not, then I'll add that to a list of a couple of things I need to fill a few notes knowledge gaps on between now and the exam, which is um, just over a week away. That being said, I do try to have the information as accurate as possible. So Ansible Vault is a way of encrypting data. So for example, let's say that you have some file here and let's make us a little file. We're going to call it secret.txt. And in this file, we're going to put um, db password is you know monkey one two three all right and let's say that we did not want to have this this password you know just stored in plain text well we can use ansible vault to encrypt a file so if we were to do ansible vault encrypt and the file name will be prompted for a password and we have to confirm it it says encryption is successful so if i were to cat secret.txt we see that it has been encrypted and therefore the data is safe. Now I could decrypt it. So I can do ansible vault decrypt secret.txt. Valut, it's not going to work, but vault probably will. I'll be asked for my vault password and decryption is successful. And if I were to cat secret.txt, we see the, the information. Now you are able to just create the encrypted file by using Ansible Vault itself. And if I recall correctly, that should be Ansible Vault create. And we're gonna do secret2.txt. We'll have to do our password. And that will open VI. And let's do, here is another secret file. So we close the default text editor. And if I were to cat secret2.txt, we see that, that it has been encrypted. Now you can directly edit a file with Ansible Vault as well. So if I were to do Ansible Vault, edit secret2.txt, I'll be prompted for the password. And I'm going to just add another sentence. And if I were to cat secret2 again, we see that it is still encrypted and the value has changed because I have added the, um, the extra sentence. I can then Ansible Vault decrypt secret2.txt, feed it the password, and let me cat secret2.txt. We have an unencrypted file and we're able to see the, um, the information. So using this in practice, the I would say you know where you're going to use this is if you have things for your playbook that does not need to just be out in the in the clear. And one example I can think of for that is let's say that you have uh, you have a variable file and that variable file contains you know username and password. So you know if you're storing this in source control and such, you might not want to store a um, a plain text file that that has credentials on your system. You, you would want to encrypt that. And you can do more than just like plain old text files. You can encrypt a playbook, which of course that's, that's also a text file in itself. But what I'm saying is it pretty much anything can, can be encrypted with this. So let's say that we do want to make a little variable file. So we're just going to do var test. And inside var test, let's define a couple of variables. So we'll do package 
names, and this will be a list. We'll also do service state. We'll set that to started. Do service enabled. Actually, we'll do let's do service status started. Service state enabled, and then let's see. We'll just call this just services plural and we'll list a couple of things there. All right, so let's make a little playbook here. We'll call this var test.yml. We'll just use the debug module to display some of these variables. So showing variables, host, we'll just do this against local host, tasks. Actually, first we need to include the vars files, tasks, debug, and var, we had package names, then another debug, we'll we call that service state, right? Debug service status and debug services. May have been able to just do a loop with that, but that's fine. All right, I did not look over my syntax. I'm gonna hope it's right on the first try. Of course, on the exam, you would want to look over your syntax. Okay, so I misspelled package names or I must have done something different in the var test. Let's take a look at var test. Oh, just package name. You know, I'm gonna change that to package names, plural. Let's run our playbook again. All right, so there we, we have our variables. Now, if we wanted to, we can encrypt that file. So we'll do ansible vault encrypt and var test. We'll give this an encryption password. All right, and let's run the playbook again. Oh, by the way, let's cat var test real quick. We see it's, you know, block of encrypted text. Let me call, stop that. Ansible playbook var test dot yml. And it's going to complain that it tried to decrypt this file, but there are no vault secrets found. So one thing you can do if you have files like this and you're running your playbook, you can do ask vault pass and you'll be prompted to give that vault password. And giving that vault password allows the file to be decrypted and thus we have our variables that, that we're able to see. Now, you can encrypt using, or rather you can do the, um, the authentication for encryption using a file. And I'm trying to remember off the top of my head exactly how to do this. I think you can just put the password in in a plain text file and feed it the file, or there may be some other specific command to, to do that. But we'll do some experiment or experimenting with this practice session and, and see if I if my memory is jogged. So first of all, what I want to do, let's say I wanted to change the password for uh, for something that's been encrypted. So we can do ansible vault rekey, and then the file is going to ask for your original password, and you can give it a new one. Rekey successful. So now this new password will will open var test. So let's make a file. We're just going to call it pass. And I'm going to put in the decryption password. So monkey123. I can't remember the exact option here. So vault ID or you yeah, have vault password file. Okay. So vault ID was what I was thinking of. That's that that's a special thing. So we'll experiment with that in a minute. Vault password file is literally what we're what we're going to use here and so we're going to have a file that has the password pass that into our um our command and then this should work famous last words in it right so let's do ansible playbook var test yml vault password file equals pass and let's see if it works and it did so um just prove positive, try this without that, and it'll complain that it can't can't decrypt it. So the vault ID, hmm. All right, so let's say you're on the exam like this and you have something that you need to do and you're used to either feeding in a password as I did or you make a, a password file, which by the way, if you do store that in the file, you probably want to lock the permissions of that down maybe to where, actually let's do ls-l um, pass, see the default permissions there. Probably lock that to, uh, you know, 400 and only the, um, you know, the actual user owner of that can read it. But anyway, so this vault ID, 
we get stuck on the exam, when in doubt, take a look at the built-in documentation. Because I don't remember, I'm trying to think if I have practiced using Vault ID. So you use Vault ID to use to encrypt, unless, ah, uh, I think, I think I know, I think I figured out what this, what this means. Hmm, there's a new Vault ID. Okay, so let's let's try a couple things here. I'm just curious if I were to do Ansible Vault new Vault ID, if it's actually going to do anything. Yeah, it requires an argument. So let's do foo. So this is something I'm definitely going to need to review over the next week just to make sure I have have this right in my head. I'm pretty sure I can make a file such as let's just call it Vault ID, and we're going to just put some random text in here. Let's see if I'm, see new, the new vault identity used for rekey. Okay, so let's do, let's create us a file. So Ansible vault create the vault ID equals vault ID. That's that file that I made. And we'll do vault test two dot txt. And we'll put in one of the best phrases ever. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, so let's cat our vault test two, our vault test two, that's encrypted. And we have our vault ID, let me cat that, that should just be our text string here. Now to decrypt this, we're gonna try this. So Ansible vault, actually we can do view as well. Let's see what happens here. Oh, yep, no vault secrets found that. That could decrypt. I am curious. It's hard to just copy and paste this in if this will work. I don't think this will. Oh, it does. Hmm. All right, so I, I have some misunderstandings about vault ID and just a, a password file because I was thinking this was this was some other like construct that, that, that you have to use. So for this particular objective, I'm going to consider this a half pass and half pass as far as I can encrypt files easily with, um, with making a password. I know how to use a password file to, you know, feed that back into it. I understand the concepts, but, but behind the in encryption here, and I understand that when using Ansible playbook, you can either feed it a password file or you can feed it the password itself. However, the failure comes with specifically about vault ID. And for whatever reason, I clearly don't have this straight in my head. So I'm definitely going to need to, to do some review of that prior to the exam. I have a feeling it'll be one of these. When I look at it, I'll just kind of bop myself in the back of the head. Oh, that's what that means. But for this particular review session, it is not coming to me. So I hope you found this uh, useful in some way. Perhaps some of the struggles that, that I, I made will prompt you to do some of your own study. If you think that you're ready for the exam and you too realize that Vault ID is not coming to you, that might encourage you to, to look it up and such. Regardless, if you enjoyed this or found it useful, make sure you do click like on the video. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you do that. And thank you to returning subscribers who are watching another video. Feel free to leave comments. You can ask questions, leave praise, leave critique. I'll respond as I have both time and ability, which means I'm probably not going to get to everything, but I'll get to as much stuff as I can. Thanks again for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you the next time.